If you guys are trying to learn more about how to use a thumb release, I'm about to show you all about it, so you're going to want to stay tuned. I'm an Air Force Airman. I am a bow hunter. I am a fisherman. I am Mark of all trades. So today we're going to be talking about thumb releases. and. I've never used one before and I just got this Carter Wise Choice in the mail and I thought it was pretty cool. I've read the reviews on them on Amazon, on YouTube, everywhere and so far no one's got a bad thing to say about this. Um, it's the average guy's uh, thumb release. It's not going to break the bank by any means. Uh, I believe that this one on Amazon is about $200 and I know that there's a lot cheaper ones and I know that there's a lot more expensive ones but I kind of got the middle of the line one, so to say, and hopefully this does really well. I'm gonna take you guys out and I'm gonna show you exactly how this shoots, but first I wanted to go over some of the key points on this. In the directions of the Carter Watch Choice, it says that there's a lanyard attached to it, and so they say when you're first starting off, you don't want to just use the handheld release like this. You wanna actually put your hand through it and then grab your release. So then you have some form of connection to the release. And the reason behind that is that if you're pulled up like this, and let's say you need to let down the bow, if you accidentally let go of the release, you at least have your hand and you can grab onto something and let the bow down. So I think that that's kind of smart and it's definitely suggested for beginners um, according to the instructions that I've read. So, um, I know I see a lot of people and a lot of hunters, they don't have the lanyard on, and I'm sure that's because they've become proficient in their thumb release. So let me know if you guys shoot with the lanyard on or with the lanyard off. So it's a three finger thumb release, and so you can see that right there, that's where each finger is going to go, and if you're right handed, you'll just do the exact opposite of what I'm doing because I'm left handed. So it fits in your hand really nicely, it's got a nice groove. Uh, for your index finger, it's got the circle, and it's got a big thumb thumb punch trigger right here. So you can't really go wrong with that. And one of the nice things about this is that it's not too expensive, and so you're able to customize how far you want the thumb travel to go. And there'll be a little screw right here, and that'll show you in the directions that if you just loosen this or tighten it, it'll it'll actually tell you how much travel you can have with your thumb. And so if you only want a little bit, like what I have, you can have that or you can have it actually come down a good length. The second thing that you can customize on here is the tension on here for how hard or how soft you want your trigger to be. And so you're gonna undo this screw right here on the side and then in here is the actual screw for the tension of how difficult or how light you want it to be once you press the trigger. So that's really nice that Carter put this in the wise choice because honestly I appreciate it, you know. And then the other cool thing about the Carter releases is that they have a one year warranty. So if anything happens in that one year you can send it back and they'll take a look at it. So keep going around the release. Uh, on the bottom here, this is what actually connects it to your D loop on your compound bow. And you can see right up here, this is where it's going to clamp on. So you can see that it closes right there. And then once I hit the thumb trigger, it'll release. So again, it's just on the bottom down here. It'll close. And it releases. So I'm going to take you guys out and I'm going to show you my first shot with the Carter Wise Choice. All right, so we're about 15 yards away from the target. We got the release right here, and here comes our first shot. <laughs> kind of surprised me a little bit, and I think that's the whole goal of it. But it just kind of, I'm really focusing on like trying to bring it back a little bit and not punching the trigger. If 
feels pretty decent. It's just a surprise every time. So uh, definitely something I'm gonna have to get used to. So we'll take a look at how it turned out. As you can see there, I was obviously aiming for the center and a grouping a little bit high of the center. So we'll do another one and see what happens. So that grouping felt a little bit better. I'm getting a better V into my jaw, and I think I'm coming in closer to the actual bullseye. So I'm really noticing the difference to when I'm actually using back tension to activate it and then I tried one just using my thumb to kind of just get it to go and there's a big difference I'll show you this one right here I really focused on back tension and trying to really drive my elbow through the shot and this one I used on the thumb so you can definitely tell the difference between the two all right, so you guys saw my first couple rounds of me shooting the thumb release for the first time. And I was really trying to focus on using my back tension and trying to really drive that elbow. And so I think just trying to get used to that is definitely gonna make my shot groups a little bit different. And I can definitely tell in the footage looking back on it that I was just punching the trigger every time, punching it, punching it. And I think I've only had a couple that I was actually truly just letting go with my elbow driving back. So that's one of the things that I personally need to work on is just really really reinforcing that in my bow mechanics and trying to become a better archer. And I think that this is what it's all about. You know, just having, you know, tools that'll help us perfect how good we are at archery. But that's my review on the Carter Wise Choice. I think that this could be a great release and I definitely see it improving my shot groups and just my overall confidence in the bow. And I think that I know that when I pull back, I feel confident that I can get within the kill spot of an animal or where I need to shoot. And I know I'm not really shooting you know, pinpoint dimes right now, but with this release, it's definitely build my confidence. And I feel like that's what, that's what you need. You need something that's gonna be a confidence booster. And I think the Carter Wise choice is definitely that.